Yeah, because he's always here. We're, we're watching Tyler Perry's new movie. So we're, we're at the part where they're, they're taking the dude out of the casket from the church. Pretty wild stuff. So we're going to be sporadically reacting at times to this movie. We're saying, saying what's this movie freaking called? It's a Tyler Black movie. Divorce. It's called Divorce in Black. Divorce in the Black with Megan Good Bro. and uh, Corey Hardrick. So the, the opening scene so far, they're at a funeral and... Uh, what is happening exactly? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention at first. I'm going to be real. I wasn't expecting this to be nothing crazy. I was like, whatever, they got the message going. Yeah. Then they started going left. All I know is mama gangsta as hell. We are five minutes <laughs> this movie. And I'm like, what What are we watching? They in the church. They done like, the the one mama's like, how dare you? And blah, blah, blah. And about talking about bad about my son. And then the preacher's like, well, your son was doing bad stuff in the first place. And that's why he got shot and killed. And then mama's like, I'm not going to have you talk about my son. We going to take him out of this church. Out. And then they like, well, we paid for it. So that's why you should be faithful. He's getting in the first place. They literally try to take this dude out the casket. No, no, no. Mama told them. Yes. Get him. I was like, get him. Get him. Got him. <laughs> Like we gonna roll the casket out? She said, "No, leave the casket." What? 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 Well, like, bro, I mean, it's, are you for? It's, a, it's a heavier than just a person. To be fair, I mean, but still, I've been trying to wait to do spoilers. But I mean, the first five minutes, the first this five been the trailer for this, I'd have watched it. Like, right? What, like, what is y'all doing? Oh, what is your, mm -mm. I, I know. Tyler movies are dramatic, but this is next. Level. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'm all for here for the drama. This is this is just a sample of what we're gonna get. I'm already in, but we're gonna stop sporadically along and, and hit y'all with what's going on. I just wanted to say we didn't even get the popcorn done good. We were still. <laughs> getting drinks and snacks together. We just, I mean, we stopped and turned, sat down, went back. Like, what, what? Yeah. If you ain't watching this movie, watch this movie. Already like going on. Just go so. and watch this movie. Don't even, don't even do it to yourself. Like, oh, no, watch this movie. Just forget Tyler Perry. Watch the Megan Good movie, okay? This Tell, chick, call it the Megan Good movie in your mind. When I tell you, play. Corey's mom took off her hat, took off the top of her clothes, and was like, I don't need your hand-me-down. Like, it's it's wild already. Started We're only seven minutes me. in. And I'm like, oh, so so it's this conflict. So it's not just a divorce of the two people who disagree. It's this family yeah. feud level. This this gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Go yeah. on, strap in. So we'll keep y'all close safe. Yeah. All right. Yeah. A few minutes later. All right. So we're at the forty minute mark movie. So we're at the point where he's already said they're gonna get divorced, and now Megan's at her parents' house and crying, and they're reminiscing and flashbacking. Her friend gave her a list of all the things she noticed over the years that this guy did to her. So now she's at her parents' house, and she's. Her mom found the list and is like, oh, I didn't know that this guy abused you and hurt you and spat on you. We didn't know either. You know why? Because Tyler did not show that crap when he was building up the story. So we as an audience got to take in just like, the, it just happened. To be fair, he showed it in all the other movies. So we should be okay. <laughs> was, we, we've seen it, just not between. Was Megan in those movies? Because I no, wasn't. But it's just, <laughs> come on, man. It's the history. It's, 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 if she going through all this, you know it's something. Else. I'm just so like... Just, Gave it to us in written form. As a person that has been in like Definitely. good theater productions, I'm just saying like there should have been a scene at the beginning. Like for example, when at, at, at the end of the funeral, when the, she goes back later to see where they bro they buried the brother, and she goes in the truck, that would have been a moment where he could have like slapped her in the face. That way we know, oh, we've seen her get abused. But instead, he's just cool, calm, and collected the whole or time. When she was taking too long to get ready. Yeah, could have beat her then. Could have said something. I mean, the, the visual would have gave us a little more. Yeah. We would have related a little bit. We're not condoning to getting beat in real life. We're just no. saying, for movie purposes, you're going to say later on, oh, he was abusing you and beating you. We've seen none of that. So now I'm supposed to feel a thing for a character that I didn't see go through any of that stuff. It makes it harder for me to empathize with what is actually going on on screen right now. And to be fair, she ain't even thinking about it because they just showed a flashback. She's like, oh, I'm going on a little run and she's reminiscing on all the good times. And we're sitting there watching the positivity at this They in bed day. together. They in bed cry like, together dubby, and stuff. Dubby, he's stroking her hair and stuff. But we're supposed to hate him because he's beating her. Why is it not on the forefront of her mind is what we don't understand for the movie concept. Like as you're making a movie yeah. to show this, but you're not showing it. And that's, Tyler, what, that's where the disconnect is. Yeah, and Tyler has a, has a habit of, of writing some stuff that admittedly would be really, really cool to see on screen, but he would just be like, you know, oh, remember that time we did that thing and blah, 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 or oh, this, this, and that. And it's like, oh, I want to see that. No, you don't get to see that. You have to imagine it because I'm making other stuff <laughs> like that's happening. Because we're going to talk about it. Yeah, we're like, because the audience is, you know, it's like um, like Ryan George. Uh, remember like, what they say, <laughs> tell not show. <laughs> what? <laughs> but so, to, to show it would be super easy, barely an inconvenience. But instead, you're going to make us try to imagine some crap. Like, shout out to Fish <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I just had to stop and pause because I'm just very annoyed by that right now. Okay. So it's a lot of crying. A, a lot of crying and, and nothing that we get to see that she's crying about. 
I will say they do make her a little relatable in some areas, so I do like that. Um, they are kind of giving us a, a one-sided villain. You know how they say like, characters are one-dimensional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm picking up on this. There's really this one-dimensional side of it. They don't give us this multifaceted character. Like, you don't have a love-hate relationship with the villain. Like, no, he's just a total bad guy. Yeah. You know, it's like black hat, white hat. So, Which, again, mm. if he's going to be that character, that's fine. I'd love to see him do some actions that indicate that other than just yelling at a restaurant. <laughs> you know, that's true, because if you're going to give us a full black hat character, you got to go all in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to, like, really... Like, if you want us to hate him, that's cool, but damn, like, let us see why we hate him. Them's like, the rules, yeah. Like, in uh, Avengers uh, uh, Infinity War, we got to see opening scene, Thanos, he kills off the Hulk. We ain't got to kill off Megan, but again, a little slap, a little, like, something that indicates that he's horrible, other than, other than just, like, oh, I'm leaving home early because you didn't leave at the same time as me. Like, that's not good enough for this movie, for what they're saying he did to her. Same. <sighs> Show us. Yeah. A few minutes later. The, the movie's been interesting so far, uh, but I will say a highlight has been the, the the church song Joy. Like they started singing the joy, da, 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 joy. We sitting here like, oh shoot, we were in church for real? Like this would be a hype a hype song. What'd you think? What'd you think? I guess the soundtrack probably. But yeah, um it, it, gets, it gets a little hype. It feels a little out of place. Cause she's not feeling joy. Yeah. We we don't have anything to celebrate yet. We went from him like preaching to her directly about like, oh you gotta get out of your situation and blah 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 to then just like joy da, 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 <laughs> One thing I keep saying off camera I forgot to mention is I don't like the pastors preaching from the pulpit the way he's doing all of this. Like, he started this whole problem in the beginning Yeah. because the brother was up there. He started talking, talking shit, basically, from the pulpit. And it was like, yo, we ain't about to have you talking about my, my boy like that. And then he was like, no, I got to say it from the pulpit during the funeral. The man mama right there, you sitting there talking about he bad for the community. And did it. Bro, can you have no chill at all? You can't, like, be respectful of the situation? Yeah. Like, so and then, now, the daughter, she there after the whole papers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And he like, sometimes you got to get out your situation and you going to preach to me from the pulpit, like, directly? Oh, like, can you? And also, the scene before, preacher dad was trying to, to set his daughter up with the, you know, the muscular-bound dude in the store. Yeah, and funny. we like... Can she, like, get the paper signed yet? Can they, like, go through the thing before we start trying to have the pastor dad getting I mean, her boot up again? Second, the second he found out about it, he was like, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> leave me out the stove. <laughs> you got a shot. And then he go tell him, you ain't got no better game than that. I'm not supposed to have game, sir. She is oh, going through some stuff. God. Can I be sympathetic? Can I can I relate to her? Yeah. And he's talking about, I've been through divorce, too. Who? who from who? So, who, uh, so again, if you have no like, context. But nice to have seen that. To have seen an ex somewhere, a kid with him, maybe like nothing. Again, we, he keeps giving all these these things that are forefronting the story that we don't get to see any of the backs of. So, but again, the music so far fire. So Not the music, I will say this: they done leaned into this country element, so we not really done have. yet. So I don't know if it's gonna happen. But I was like, definitely Beyonce just put out the country album. Oh yeah, they got them with the cowboy hats and the overalls. Yo, if they so don't, if they, if they don't have a Tanner Adele song in here. Or at least Shabuzi, somebody. Like, give, give, you better have had one I wouldn't be Black surprised. Artists. I wouldn't be surprised if they, the they, I wouldn't be surprised if they filmed this, like, right after Beyonce released her album. Like, oh, she had a country album. Quick, go make a movie. How long do we need? Like, five days. Let's do it. We'll get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. A few minutes later. All right, timestamp 126. So we have seen a lot. So, um, yeah, there was a long part of this movie where it was just, she's on divorce vacation at her parents' place <laughs> trying to get over crap. So she finally gets back. And she signs the divorce papers from her husband. And then the husband's all like, see how fast that was? She wanted to divorce me the whole time for this other guy, which is stupid. Anyway, now there's crap going on where Benji dude came back to her place after a party, after the divorce party. And... Well, we can't forget, she tried to smash. Oh, yeah. In the pickup truck. He was like, no, nah, I'm not going to be that way. And I'm going to kiss you on the forehead. Which is like, okay, that's honorable. Now they back. And her girl gonna set her up, slip a little something to her. Not slip her to her, but it's like a gummy or something. Get her yeah. hyped up, and then put dude back in. Like everybody trying to set her up with old boy before she even divorced it. Like the 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 ink was barely out of the pan, and they were like, "Oh, here's a divorce party. Oh, here's a guy. Have fun." Like they've been trying to put her on with this dude. So the husband, we'll still call him husband, because you know. I mean, they've been divorced for days. So uh, what the the twelve hour ex maybe? Yeah. You like see this been going on the whole time. So now he all mad. And then, oh, because one of his boys or his brothers, uh, they took a took a picture of her and Benji at the this fair thing. Even though again they didn't sleep together, but just in interacting, he was like, "See, this proves that they were trying to to cheat all the time." Side note: um, 
if you live in a small town, or even if you don't live in a small town, yeah, there's just everybody know your business. So yeah, just, just don't do anything. That's, yeah, don't do nothing. That's, that's the lesson I learned is that everybody <laughs> know your business, and whatever you think you just did, they they gonna find out about it. It's, it's a whole thing. But um, yeah. I'm just it's, it's a lot. So now yeah. he told me earlier it might be a thriller. I was like, I don't see this going that way. I thought it was gonna be like because it was such a long lull of like just kind of like Corey was out of the picture, nothing was happening. Just just, just make Megan going talking about her feelings about her parents and the parents trying to hit her up. Like there wasn't a lot indicating. That this is going to like happen. Thriller, like, does Tyler Perry make thrillers? So I was like, maybe I said it could go one of two ways. Either he has like a change of heart and like, you know, get saved for real somehow, and it's like, oh, yeah. I messed up. I want you back, but she all done with it. Or I thought maybe he gets like hurt or something, and she got to take care of him. And we got the situation where like he in a wheelchair and she pushing him in the shower. That's what Tyler Perry do. Yeah, but none of those happen. <laughs> this is different. Like he 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 really owns some stalker stuff. I'm like, yeah. Uh, so okay, they go. Where, where's this going? They go back to the house. Like her and Benji go back to the house. They hook up. He's in the bed upstairs, and she comes downstairs to try to go to work. And husband's down there eating cereal. Like, hey, Which so I want to make this work now. And she was like, "What? Like we're we're divorced?" Like, no, no, no. I got my stuff. I'm gonna move back in. She's like, "You can't do that." So he's like, "Well, this is my house, and so I'm gonna go upstairs and take a shower now." She knows that other dude is up there. She don't yell upstairs. Hey, Benji, look out. She don't try to run up in the vest. She just lets do walk upstairs and find dude I mean, in bed. Completely sleep, laid out, snoring the whole night. Yeah. So he basically wake up to a fist in the face. Yeah. Like, what? And then has to kind of gather himself that they say in a dream and defend himself. So, yeah. like, he does a decent enough job, I guess. I was debating whether, because he ends up, like, choking dude out. And I was like, yeah. I, I don't know if I'd have choked dude out in this scenario. I'm a big fan of putting somebody to sleep if they need to calm down. But this month, earning an ass whooping, I was like, nah, you might have just gone ahead and did this the old fashioned way. Oh, yeah. He He's and then just called a cop and be like, yeah, he, he came in, he broke in the house, he threatened the girl. Like, That's it's all. Doing. Like, yeah, yeah. This, this, stand your ground. This you know? was definitely a police thing. Like, you got the paperwork. Now, they made a big deal about her signing the paperwork and she needed a lawyer. And she's like, no, nah, I don't need no lawyer. I'm going to just sign it. And now I'm like, Okay, to me, that has to be a plot point. You have to now make it that she signed something she shouldn't have signed mm -hmm. in the thing because you made it such a big deal. Well, I think the idea is that they're trying to they're trying to use that as a way for him to prove to the, the other guy, like, see, this is proof that she wanted to get out of the divorce the whole time because she in that when she was cheating on me that she wasn't willing to even contest this at all. Like that's what they're trying to do for that motive, but it's just that, that's a horrible plot point. Plus, the way they set it up, it was the like the easy no cause, just walk away. Like, he was talking about no alimony, none of this and that. She was like, well, it's fair. He don't have nothing. I don't want to go after him. Yeah. So it's like, it would make sense that he would have played her in the paperwork. And the lawyer, mm -hmm. his lawyer's trying to warn her, like, yo, yeah, you, you should get counsel. I don't need counsel. I just want to sign it. You really should get counsel. Like, the lawyer damn near trying to help yeah. her. But she was like, but I really, really read it. So it's like. like that, I read it. It's fine. The like, fact that he forced that, that's, that's true. The fact that he was saying so forcefully, that means that there should be a point later on where, like, the actual paperwork, like, screws her over. Yeah. But that, instead, it's just, he's just, now this dude is just stalking her and trying to scare the crap out of her at her job. Yeah. And he got beat up pretty bad and got thrown back into his truck. And then he just drove off to her job. Because <laughs> like, I thought the whole I'm back in my house thing was going to be like, oh, you should have read the paperwork. You, ha ha, it's still my house. Yeah. But they didn't go there and just. Yeah, that's another thing, too. You choke him out, and then she's like, I'm going to drag him out myself so I can throw him out of my house. So, so y'all. Weak ass out. muscles. Struggle. Struggle bus. So tired time. Out. And the dude walking, like, I mean, and then when they get outside, she's like, Will you help me? He was like, I was trying to help you. wanted to do the thing. whole time. But then I was like, Just leave him on the grass. Like, what you. They put him in the car for what? Yeah. Like what what does this help with? I don't I don't understand. So that's where we're at. So now like she's at he's at the job. She just found out from the best friend who by the way is her own level of a hole in this movie. And best so friend. now yeah, because she was she, the best friend. She be the one instigating all the time. Like she be trying to set up for like the the um the thing that she was when I was like when they're getting divorced. Like, you, she was like oh, you should you should take him for everything because she was like I just want a clean break. No girl, you should take him for everything he's worth and blah blah blah. Like <sighs> I keep saying women keep other women single. And also put them in dangerous situations, and that that this is that friend. So that's why I have a, I have a beef with her personally in this movie. But yeah. to be fair, he's not saying she caused this dangerous situation because oh yeah, not this one, no, but other ones. But, yeah, yeah, like so. So we're close to the end of the movie, but just where it's gone from, like it went from like the opening, we were like, oh man, this is gonna be great. To like, okay, it's kind of a lull. It's like, oh, stuff's happening, and then it's like. This is they just front loaded the movie like all the really action did. is in the beginning, all the drama. You get hooked in the first like five minutes. Then you just be like, so 
was something else going to happen. Like, I think that's why we had our little moment in the last part where it was like, he didn't actually do any of the stuff. They're just talking about it. Yeah. Like, it's a movie. Like, now he's showing it, but it's like, you should have shown something like this a little early on. Now. He, didn't, he still didn't touch her. That's true. He done been, because he could have slapped her in the kitchen. He done went after her. the guy that he thought that she was cheating with. He done get, went after her. his friend kind of sort of now. He showed up at the divorce party. Brother. Yeah. He done, fought, he done but, everything but be violent to her in this movie. It's just hard for me to see, like, this abusive man hang even flinched at her this whole time and I'm like yeah. they going through it going through it so I'm like if he has a history of hitting her why is this now different why is she you know just like talking yeah. she's sitting there confronting him based on like not to get too deep psychologically but some narcissistic level stuff they're basically making him a textbook narcissist that she's now challenging so if he has a history of violence too how he it, it, oh, I'm just not gonna bring it out now or yeah. just take it out on the dude instead like nah this cause when she was all in his face like you know yeah. this is my house now that would've been a perfect time to be like bam and then he was like oh yeah well I still live here like what was, <laughs> I was like this in my teens and this in my 20s and then my 30s was done with your ass and so now you're picking at him and he's not and nothing nothing escalating. like it's just weird and Tyler's weird. gone there before movies which is why I don't know why he doesn't have Corey going there in this movie but I'm like you don't actually have to hit her but it should be some threat of it. It should be like a hint of something. It's just, he's just like, oh, no, I'm mad. And storm upstairs. I'm going to just go take a shower. Like, yeah. Isn't, isn't the point to check her? To get her back? Like, you should be focused on her, I would think. Right. But I don't know. So, yeah, we'll let y'all know as the movie goes on. But just wanted to stop for that. A few minutes later. Yo, okay. I, I needed another one. Because <laughs> I, I just been sitting here talking the whole time. And I was like, I'm going to forget half of this. I'm, what the hell? We were debating whether he was gonna run up on mom in the store, and he did, or run up on or pops and pops on the way driving yeah. down. First of all, this little hour and a half trip is going way too fast. Like he was just there, and they just went inside to talk, and now he's an hour and a half away. By yeah, mom. it's a very efficient car. Go run trying. up, run up on her in the store, get all up in her face, and then he gonna grab her. Now, yeah. What got me is this whole thing started at the funeral. Yes. Of his brother, who was shot by a church member. That's correct. Because he tried to rob her or something, right? Pop's already over here gun crazy. You telling me that his wife don't have something in her purse? Nothing. Because she reached for her purse like she was going to pull something out. Like, oh, she got some. No, she just sat there and kind of screamed a little bit. A lot of people in the store was looking at her crazy. And then she's going to run off. And by the way, ain't no way that in a, there was a white lady in the aisle. And clearly he was in the, in the store. What y'all looking at? Blah, blah, blah. Nobody called the cops on the black dude that was making a bunch of noise in the store with mostly white people. Grabbing people. Grabbing. Gra and she, the, the pastor's wife, they know her. They know her in this little town. Yeah. So nobody came to help her. Nobody called the cops. Nobody did nothing. Just let this whole thing go down. Just nothing. And then, once again, this violent, physically abusive dude grabbed her arm and let her go run off to tell her husband who has guns and shit. Right. I, it's just weird to say. It's I mean, he did, he did hit that one thing on the shelf kind of hard, so well, that counts. <laughs> He grabbed her basket. <laughs> he did grab the basket, too. He did too. grab the basket real aggressively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kind of grabbed her elbow a little bit. But then, this, this, yeah, I can, I can roll with that. I can let it go. But, yes. We get to the house. Uh, apparently, Pops pulled up with the heat, right? My man pulled, like, 17 my shotguns <laughs> out, sat them on the table, and her friend, like, oh, oh, my God, you got all the guns. And she's like, Dad, whatever. He said, I gave you a 22. ain't going to do nothing. Yeah. So, we got to have all the heavy artillery. So, he put our shotguns on the table. This friend gonna look right into this man's face and say, Oh, you got hollow points? <laughs> <sighs> and what's, what's wrong I with that, Joe? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if y'all know much about firearms. He does. I'm sorry. I don't wanna be that guy. I do wanna be that guy. <laughs> if you put in hollow points in your shotgun, please call me. Please let me know where you shot. Let me know where to find hollow point shotgun shells. I know there's some exotic shotgun shells yeah, out there. Yeah. There are. There's a lot of stuff. I might not know them all. Uh, it's not the typical ammunition that goes in that particular type of fire. That's all I'm saying. Like, yeah. I was look. I really wanted to go back and look. Did I not see some on the table? Because it was a knife and like literally like four shotguns. I feel like you're mistaking Tyler Perry with somebody that does research. For scripts. <laughs> I'm a goop. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a yeah, goop. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a goop. Y'all go ahead. Just had a high that. Yeah. Just, just, hey, it's a thing, you know? It's a Siri, thing. Siri, where do I get hollow points for a shotgun? A few minutes later. Yo, I, I have to apologize. Um, Apparently, they do make 12 gauge uh, hollow points. I, I I learned something. I didn't know. I don't follow up like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But now I'm real worried because the movie got a little more hype. 
Yeah, dudes. Uh, so uh, the the husband of the her her mom found out that the, pa- the preacher, the preachers, the pa- yeah, the preachers, the preacher found out from the town because it's a small town that the wife got manhandled a bit at the store. And now he done grabbed a shotgun and what other gun did he get right there? I didn't see the same. It was like a little yeah, shotgun. Uh, just, just a handgun, you know. Handgun so, yeah, and he's about to go do some dirty work. We're like, oh, okay, Pops. Like They, they mentioned it earlier. She was like, oh, yeah, Pops didn't read the letter because he'd be in jail. Or, oh, he'd do the... And I was like, I mean, the preacher, like, I get it. Yeah. But would he go up against the whole gangster family? I, 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 I was wrong, apparently. <laughs> Pops grabbed his... Uh, Shotgun hollow points. He's like he preaching and God. He preaching about God. God like, and he will bro, send you to God. Like right. that's what's happening. I'm gonna judge you, but I'm gonna arrange the appointment. Like, oh, <laughs> wow. So, yeah. So I'm curious to see where Ooh. this goes now. Man, they are really like. Yeah. Again, Tyler doesn't have the best writing, but sometimes you'd be like, you added that to the plot. Fine. I, I, I had to pause here because we ain't been having a lot of action. I was like, I don't know how this is gonna play out. But yeah. right now, I was a little happy. Like, oh wait a minute. Let me sit up in my seat. Let me. Let me. <laughs> Roll the cameras. So we're going to get back once yeah. we see what, but, see what happens. Goes but, on. Yeah. Oh, my God. And look up them shells. Cause yeah, look them up. They actually exist. Stay real. A few minutes later. So this is the last part of the movie, people. So he's broken in the house. Now she's home by herself. All right. She just set him up. And now he's just walking around like. Calmly. upstairs. This is like the first time he's threatened her the whole movie. Like he pulled out a gun finally. After what? Like, hour, 45 minutes? He hasn't like pointed at her. He's like showing it to her. Yeah. yeah. And she's not concerned yeah. at all. Why are you doing this, lady? She's like tempting him, teasing, said. taunting. But I'm like, what's the plan? What is your ace in the hole? Yeah. Okay, now he hits. Finally, finally she gets hit. I, we're not rooting for abuse, people, but just in the context of the movie. Come on, keep talking. 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 Like, what is her, what is her end game for all this antagonization? Now the gun's in his hand. Oh, let me put it away. He asked for it. Yeah, she shot him. Are you okay? They're trying to like you okay? get a game plan and like oh, set it up to make it justifiable. Right. Self defense. I mean, it was a solid plan. It worked. But... I'm sorry. That was way too much risk. He could have killed her at any point. He really could have. He could have walked in like, hey, Jake Payne. The second he showed that he brought the gun to her house was like, yeah. okay, wait, this is let me continue to attack the knife, you beat me up first, give me the bruises, even though you already brought the gun out, like, that's a lie. You can't break this off, man. A few minutes later. Okay, so overall, what what do we think of the movie? <laughs> that face. <sighs> I, I, I wanted to see it. I actually said, I want to see what's to it. It's nothing like what I was What were you imagining expecting? was going to happen in this movie? I don't I thought it was gonna be about the divorce. Like, I thought they were gonna go through like the emotions and the back mm-hmm. and forth and the, you know, kind of show an even both sided, this is kind of what relation. I thought it was gonna be an analysis of relationships and especially in black, you know, it's like, oh, okay, a black divorce. And I'm like, just being real, you got two people who recently went through this as the main cast, like, bro, this could be an interesting take on things. Oh, yeah. But it was just like, nah, we're just gonna write this twisted, Oh yeah, no. From the previews, Yo. from the previews, I got none of that. Like I, based on previews, was like they're gonna make Corey Howard the bad guy, and it's gonna be like a divorce happens. He doesn't want it to happen, even though this one he's like pushing for it initially. Then it's like, oh, it, when it happens, he's like, I don't actually want one. I was just testing you, and I want you back. And now that you don't want me back, I'm gonna like, like. So, okay, I get it's supposed to be a thriller. You want to have this woman be the hero of the story who defends herself. The problem for me is we've seen this story so many times done well. So yes. now that I've seen the entire thing, what I'm thinking is that movie Enough with Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> yes. We watched this man whoop her ass for like half the movie. Like sh- they showed us battered wife. They showed us yes. the behavior. They walked us through the stuff she went through. Then she goes, starts taking some cry Shout out to cry because it was literally- That was when she was? I didn't she know that. Yeah, they t- as soon as I signed up, they told us. And uh, yeah, she trained with a trainer to deal with somebody bigger, deal with somebody stronger, to put hands on this man and end the situation. Goes back, does it, then like had this little weird change of heart or something. But <laughs> overall, they, they they took us through the highs, lows. Yes. It was a great, great job. So this much later, you have examples of how to walk us through this process. And that's what we was complaining about, like, yeah, to to be like, oh, we gotta kill the dude off at the end because he's such a horrible person. Like, yeah, like, oh, her friend provides a list, and yet at no time do we see until the end of the movie, we don't see her get hit, stabbed, shot at. 
threatened. Like at best we see like, oh, I'll come to the house because I own it still. But it's like, we don't see anything towards harm to her that would indicate that they had a previous history of this being true. We don't see bruises on her in the opening of the movie, like nothing. So, and then too, like the justification is, oh, he came after her family. He put hands on her mom and let her walk away. He, the dad came after him with the shotgun. And we're supposed to believe this is this criminal family that's been killing people yeah. in and out of jail. And they don't give a care about nothing. And they're the worst of the worst. But he walks up to their house with a shotgun, threatening their brother, and walks away from the situation. Like clean. Like, yeah, they, they put hands on him. No full they investigation done. shot him in the leg. And that's the thing, too. After all of that, they were like, oh, we know he did it. It had to be Dallas. It wasn't Dallas. It was the family yeah. who was standing there while he walked out the hospital or was wheeled out the hospital. Like, why aren't they in jail? The, yeah. the sheriff was like, we need proof. We need him to wake up and say what happened. Okay, arrest them. They didn't even get arrested? Like, this is so weird. So, yeah, so ultimately, they didn't make him a compelling claim. Like, like Tyler Perry has the ability to actually make black dudes or black women like the compelling as for Tyler Perry compelling villain this dude was just kind of like we, we're waiting the whole movie to see like when's he gonna be that guy and it just took too long and he wasn't all that threatening his brothers were more threatening than he was so it's like it just and even that with the 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 restraint that was shown I don't see them justifying killing this dude at the end like it was it was just overly done like it's yeah it's just kind of like oh the did y'all see Bamboozle did y'all see because most people know what I'm talking about. I'm, uh, thank yeah. you for saying bamboozle. <laughs> but the, that's what I'm... It's giving bamboozle, where it's like, we're just going to beat this in at the end. We're just going to take it over the top to make a point, but it's not really... Why? There was yeah. no need for this. There's not... Yeah, so... It was, it was just... So I see why people online were saying, like, you know, some people were like, oh, it was great. Some people were like, it was kind of whatever. For me, it's like... I, from the opening scene where they, like, they took their, their brother that was dead out of the cast, I was like, oh, this is go time. That was crazy. And the movie did not live up to the first five minutes of the movie. So keep in mind, this is the woman that was... Baddy enough to be like pull the corpse out of the coffin and carry him outside but when you show up to my house with a shotgun to shoot my other child who you just disrespected my first one it's the same dude it's the same preacher when he show up threatening to shoot my second child i pull my kids like no nah, nah, don't hurt him too bad no nah, i'm done nah, leave him there yeah well, not no consistency yeah like is she crazy or not you know what i'm saying does she have limits or not because yeah that that woman was like nah just let him go and I'm like, to be fair, they did kind of leave him for dead, but yeah. The, I mean, just if if you're that level, did, did why would you why wouldn't you finish the job? Yeah. So for me, the the opening of the movie and the joy song are still the best parts That's of this movie because so like everything else is just kind of like I mean, it's not like the worst movie I've ever seen, but I and I, but I've seen I've seen Tyler Perry write worse movies that played better. Like, Acrimony is a horribly written movie that plays very, very well because at least he knows, like, oh, Taraji needs to be crazy. Oh, they need to go after this and do these scenes. And it's like... I don't know. It's pretty good. It's pretty... Like I said, it's not real written, but in terms of the action, you're like, oh, in spades, everything that's actually happening, I believe. The words, F all of them. But, like, yeah, this was, this was the opposite where it's like, the words sounded better. Like, it just... For what the expectation was, the movie was not that great. Yeah, I just... I guess just at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm gonna need more justification if you're gonna shoot somebody with a shotgun hollow point. That's 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 how I feel. Like, yeah, it, he didn't he didn't deserve to get shot with a hollow point from a shotgun. Yeah, and dude, there's a lot of them. Like, no, for real. I like, really looked this up. It's actually really interesting. So I don't regret watching the movie because I learned something. You know, say you learn something new every day. That's what I learned. Because what? Like it was it was one. It's like a slug inside of the other slug. It's crazy. So I hope yeah. that's not what you got hit with, but it probably was. Yeah. So look that up. If you learned something else, nothing else in this movie, look that that shit up. So yeah. So let me let us let know what you guys thought of the movie. Did you did you like it? If you saw it, did you not like it? Do you think it could have been better? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, we will review movies because we watch movies now. Stop. We're about to go see Beverly Hills Four with one of our friends. Go watch Beverly Hills. Yeah. Now, so. so let us know what you guys want us to, to take a look at and review, and if we think it's good. Enough, we'll watch it and check it out so no we're gonna watch it anyway because this guy likes it even more when we don't like the movie <laughs> only because it's commentary like if it's commentary is even better when the movie sucks so yeah but uh thank y'all for watching i made the two songs this is joe hollywood we'll catch you guys on the next one peace peace